Well, hello and welcome to today's version of the uh, Living Jesus devotionals. Joy and I are really glad to be bringing the Gospel of John to you from our home to wherever you may be. Today we're going to be staying with the verses that we read yesterday, we're going to be reading chapter 14, verses 15 through 17. And this is where Jesus says, If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete to be with you forever. The Spirit of truth, who the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. So even though Jesus has returned to the Father, he hasn't left us alone. Uh, and, and what he's saying here is if we truly believe in, in Jesus, we experience his presence through the paraclete whom he has sent. Well, and yesterday we focused on the paraclete as our helper. Yes. And today we're going to talk about another meaning of the word paraclete, and that is the advocate or God as our advocate. And word, one verse that helps me to understand that, um, what it means, may sound a little bit strange. Okay. It is 1 Peter 5.18, right. which says, Our adversary is the devil. He walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. So Satan is our, our persecuting accuser, and uh, the spirit of truth is our advocate defender. Mm, okay. And so yesterday I talked about uh, the helper, so let, let's hear from you about the advocate today. Um, you know, I think what I would share is, is I, I hear stories after stories, so I'll share a little bit briefly. And I think, um, you know, I think of a time in my life when I was very judgmental on myself. Uh, and it was when I got divorced, um, and I was feeling very you know, low about myself. I was I um, I had decided that uh, I had committed a a sin that you couldn't get over, and and I had some people in my life at that time that were um, had telling me the same thing. Quite yeah, honestly, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I had left ministry and decided I couldn't come back and. You know, what was remarkable, Joy, is that um, I was just saying that about myself. I was listening to my, my prosecuting um, accuser, <laughs> uh, Satan. Satan, yeah. Uh, and, and this word, this word advocate has a, a legal term. It's, it's um, it, that there is the, the person who is the prosecutor and there's a person who's the advocate for you. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's so easy to listen to the voice of that prosecuting accuser telling you you're bad, that you're, you'll never get over this one, that you'll never be loved by anybody else or never be loved by, by uh, God enough to do certain things again. And, and so I think that's kind of what comes to me in this place. And, and contrary to all that, there was a moment that I had a vivid dream and and out of that dream, there was a real sense that God just loved me. Mm. Even though I had gotten a divorce, um, God loved me. And I felt that amazing sense of peace and, and just acceptance. And, and, and that's what catapulted me back into so many things that, I, that are so deeply embedded within me that are from God. And, and so I think that's when I think about the advocate, that's what I think of is it's not that voice of that prosecuting attorney, that uh, prosecuting uh, uh, accuser that says, you're bad, you should be ashamed of yourself, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's the defender side. It's the, the defender defense, yeah. that says, hey, yeah. this, this person is worthy of love. And, and this person is, is I'm, I've embraced this person with grace and mercy. And that's how Jesus came full of grace and truth. Um, grace upon grace in chapter one. So that's kind of my story. Okay, great. Well, I think that's a great place okay, to end. How about, how about if I um, okay. pray with us, please? Jesus, thank you for sending the true spirit to us. And thank you that when Satan wants to only bring us down with one accusation after another, just like, like Tom told his story, um, you rise an advocate or you defend us before our Heavenly Father. And we thank you so much, and in your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us again. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. 
uh, where we're going to continue this week of looking at our experience of God, in particular, our experience of the Holy Spirit. The Paraclete. Have a very good day, y'all. Bye-bye.